All right, so today we are replacing the battery packs in a CyberPower 1500VA. <clears throat> um, this is model CP1500AVR or CP1500C. And uh, the batteries themselves are <clears throat> determined based on the serial number for this and not necessarily the model number. This is an older um, model, but it does have the LCD screen on the front, but the serial number starts with the CPA, and that means you have to get a specific battery pack, which is here, um, and I'll show you that in a second. But if you suspect that your batteries are dead in your uh, UPS here, there's an easy way to check them using a multimeter. And if you have a multimeter, cheap one will do. Go ahead and turn that on and you will see we are on your voltage side and at 20, because each one of these batteries is a 12 volt, so anything less than 20 will read. And if it was to go over 20, it would give you a, an error screen. But just to show you real quick, your battery is gonna be indicated by a red and a black terminal. Obviously, black to black, red to red. All right, so let me go ahead and do that. We should read, you know, uh, 11, 12, maybe upper tens if it's a good number. I mean, if it's a good battery. But I know these are not good batteries because my power supply completely died and uh, shut down the computer and all the drives and everything. So it was a, not a fun day. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do red to red. And I don't know if you can see that, but we're reading 4.19, which means battery is no bueno. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. And we're at 5.17. So these batteries, no good. And it was plugged in, so they were charging, but they are obviously not holding their charge and shut the uh, system down altogether. Unfortunately, with these battery uh, backups like this, I think this one requires the battery to be in place in order to send power from the AC to the um, uh, whatever's plugged into them. So because these shut down, it killed everything. All right, so let's go ahead and move these out of the way. <clears throat> we'll need to figure out where to recycle those. Now I went ahead and ordered a replacement on Amazon in the battery pack. As you can see here, this is what you get. They are combined already. I did not show you this before, but this is the little wiring harness to wire these in series, these two batteries together, that plug into here. And the uh, terminal connectors are what plugs into the actual enclosure. And then they have some special sealing tape to basically tape them together. Now, because I can't test each one of these individually, um, I'm gonna test them wired together in series, which should take them up to about 24 volts. And in order to do that on your multimeter, remember we can't go and use the, uh, the 20 here. We're gonna bump that up to 200 and it moves the decimal over. So now we're gonna test these terminals and we should read about 24 on this. So let's see what we got. Get that right about there. Again. Red to red, black to black. So red to black. And let me get a good connection here. And we're at 25.1, so that's pretty good. That means these are good batteries. Everything should work. So when I plug these in, it should be good to go.